Hello! It's been a while since I've done a video and there has been so many changes in my life. I've really doubled down on my gut health. I've gone through ups and downs on that, but where I am right now has just been, you know, such an incredible journey and I am so much healthier than I've ever been, which is now why I'm making this video. Because I went to the dentist because I had a tooth pain and I found out that I have a cracked tooth on my bottom molar and my top molar. And their response was, and this is a holistic dentist, by the way, their response was that there's nothing you can do about a cracked tooth and I either need to get a crown or a root canal and have that tooth removed or both teeth. And I said, no, I said, no, this is not what we're going to do. I am going to figure out how to heal this. Now, this is something that is unheard of, right? We know that the body can heal itself we know this. If we give it the right environment, the body can heal itself. We can do this with disease. We've seen stories with things like diabetes and heart disease and stuff. But what happens when it comes to something like our teeth? Now, this is something that I have been taking myself to the next level with. This, old, this diagnosis is only a couple days old. And I have made a commitment that I am going to heal my teeth and I am going to give it it all because I am not going to just take the diagnosis that they've given me. So what does this mean? It means that I am going to have to change my life and I'm going to have to give up convenience. Now, this is what pharma and the medical industry has sold us. It's what of all of society sells us convenience. Our life can be more convenient if we just go get food takeout, go stop to the fast food restaurant, just, you know, pop a pill, have caffeine when we're tired. It's convenient, quick results, and then we don't have to think about things. Now, I've never had teeth problem my entire life. I've never had a cavity. I've had really good teeth. They've been really healthy. And because I grind my teeth at night, suddenly I've cracked two teeth. So I could look at that as, okay, we'll just get those crowns and then go on with life. But then am I really looking at the root cause of what's going on? Why am I grinding my teeth? I now have discovered that I'm not only grinding them at night, I'm actually clenching my jaw and grinding through the day. There's something deeper at play. And if we are just looking at convenience to rule our life, we are never going to take our power back. This is about health sovereignty. And health sovereignty, just like all forms of sovereignty, is not convenient. It is so easy to talk about sovereignty, but to truly exit the matrix takes a lot of courage and you have to decide how far you are willing to go. And that's gonna be different for everybody. So here's some examples. A driver's license is convenient. Now you may or may not know this, but you are not required to have a driver's license while driving. You're not required to have one at all. Now, what does it mean to have a driver's license? Well, whenever you're asked for one, you have one. Whenever, if you get pulled over for something like a rear tail light out or speeding or whatever, and a cop asks you for your license, you show it. What's inconvenient is to have to understand all the rules around what it means to not own a driver's license, to have to explain it, to have to risk getting a ticket or a fine and going to explain that to the judge and having to show that you know your stuff and therefore you are in your right. It's inconvenient. It takes time. It might take money. It's just something that is, you know, a risk that you may or may not be willing to take. There are other things that we think about when we think about sovereignty, like living off the grid or growing your own food. It's so much more convenient to, you know, have city services or to go to the grocery store. So everything is about convenience. And this is exactly what pharma is selling us. Take it out, snap it out, take a pill, doesn't matter. It's all just covering up the problem. Now. I just gave a talk a couple days ago about health sovereignty and some of the fundamental flaws that exist within the medical healthcare industry. And one of the most potent and pertinent flaws 
I don't know why I said pertinent, but one of the most, or even potent for that matter, <laughs> those words came out and there was something about the peas. But one of the most important um, aspects of this is that what medicine is, is the study of pathology, the study of dead things, and not the study of physiology, of life, of how we move, of how we function. Why do they say that I have to have a crown or a root canal in order to fix this problem? Because they're not looking at the body as a living organism. The bone is not living. And yet, we seem to get our adult teeth sometime between the ages of 8 and 14 or, you know, whenever all these adult teeth are coming in and they last the rest of our lives. Now, this doesn't happen with dead tissue. This doesn't happen if something were inanimate. There is life in everything. We have a pet rabbit. Now rabbits are very lucky in terms of this issue of grinding. They have to grind their teeth because their teeth grow so fast that if they don't grind, if they don't chew on things, then their teeth would be so long it would be like a vampire, like with teeth hanging out of their mouth. So teeth are not inanimate. It's not the study of something dead. So what is this going to mean for me? I am gonna be pushing my boundaries on health and that is not convenience. I have made some major changes to my way of living. I do not eat processed foods. I do not eat most things. It means that, you know, I'm that strange one. It means that, you know, I am often not the one uh, going out with people or doing different things. These are conveniences that I've given up or I eat beforehand and I watch other people eat. But what it has done for my health and vitality, my mental health, my emotional health, my spiritual health, my happiness, it's priceless. I happily forego that convenience to be healthy and happy, to have a body that I love, that I can honor, that feels good. So now when I get aches and pains and when I get certain things, I'm learning how to listen to my body as it's communicating with me. I'm grinding my teeth and I'm clenching my teeth and it's been so bad that I cracked two teeth. What is my body trying to tell me? What deep-seated emotions are trying to come out? I've got to conquer those, I've got to figure it out. And now I'm gonna push my boundaries and I am going to figure out how to heal these teeth. What is that gonna mean for me? It's gonna mean something that is going to really challenge me because I already fast a lot. I already eat really well, but now I'm going to have to really put my body into super healing mode, which means that I'm going to have to relinquish my ego's need for food and really focus on those things that are going to help my body heal. Because when we give our body what it needs, it does what it needs to do, which is heal. And I feel very honored and blessed with this opportunity to really figure this out, to figure it out for myself and to figure it out for others so that they can make the choices because we always have a choice. There are no only one option. I'm not caught between a crown and a root canal. No, I'm not. I am making the choice to empower myself. And this is what true health sovereignty is about. So I encourage you, whenever you are told that there's nothing you can do, know that is an old way of thinking that is being put into place, that is a convenience culture that is being sold to you. There is always something you can do. You always have a choice. I will be documenting my journey on this. And you know, if you have any questions, reach out to me, but know that you are capable of healing and everything you need is inside you.